Capricorn, welcome to your July love monthly reading for 2023 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Cross Watchers. Welcome. Tarot is a divination tool. It's personal development. It's a heads up. So please only take what resonates. It's still a collective reading. Everyone has free will and time is fluid. What is happening in love, please, spirit, in the month of July? I'm going to take that too because I wanted to flip out. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Swinging on a swing. I just heard nursery rhymes. Don't know what that means. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and make the effort. Great love is always worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Very useful cards here. Very cute, cutesy, romantic vibes. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's like, what do I bring to the table? I'm drawn to that. Look at that. Flipped. Love. I'm not going to take those. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Yeah, how do I love? Who am I? How do I love myself? How do I show love? How do I express love to everyday people, to family, to friends? Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care. Literally self-love twice, okay, on both of these cards and being happier. Make the effort to love yourself, to be playful in love and know that it is safe for you to love when you make healthy choices. Interesting. Not enough. Frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues and jealousy. That's what you're healing. That's what we're moving on from, Capricorn. No more of that. What is happening in love for Capricorn in July? What is happening in love the Empress, if, if that's not a self-love, attraction, energy, I don't know what is. If that's not me making healthy choices, right? If that's not me being happier, divine feminine energy. We all have divine and masculine. Uh, we all have feminine and masculine energy. We are all divine though. That was not a mistake. Page of Wands. It's like love is this beautiful adventure, especially when I love myself first and I put myself first and I uh, relish in my playfulness. It feels a little bit seductive as well. It's like, yes, I am a queen. What of it? <laughs> you know, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Don't know why the accent had to come with that, but I think you realize how attractive you are. And by that, I mean what you can attract and how you can uh, think about what you can think about you can bring about how your mindset changes things how your behavior okay if I was to act and to love and to give and to myself in the highest energy of all what would I be attracting if I treat myself like someone who gets what they're asking for then what what kind of love am I asking for and what am I attracting and then you adjust okay you measure and you adjust oh what what came through a sense of playfulness about it. Let's gamify this. You know, how do I, if, if something's causing me pain, okay, go back within, test the waters again. Okay. What else am I healing? Okay. And then strike again, choose another cup. I'd be surprised if the seven of cups didn't come out. Justice at the bottom of the deck. So I think you're really learning about love in July. Justice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, you're using your words wisely to get what you want and create a sense of balance. I really think this is strongly about how you speak to yourself. Nine of Cups, that's independent energy. Again, I'm not really seeing anything of someone coming in except possibly for the Page of Wands. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, it's really... This is talking about you really doubling down on self-love. Double down on self-love, on what's important to you, on how you, uh, how do I love myself with healthy choices when it comes to food, physical exercise, when it comes to what I listen to, what I consume, mind, body, soul, the news, what, I'm, what everything around me, the possessions that I own. You're really like, mm -mm, mm -mm. okay, it's that energy of like, 
what you want. <laughs> what you want, boy? <laughs> I've got everything I need. <laughs> what are you going to add to my table? This is that kind of energy. And it's like, if you have been alone for a long time, this is a this is an empowering stage or phase of this for you, okay? This is really about you healing one, two, three past relationships, okay? Or, or even like friendships that hurt you, really taking time to address your wounds and making it fun. Who said healing had to be so hard all the time and so... Um, testing all the time and who said there were rules okay you're really like rewriting the rules and that's when potentially a new offer comes in right king of swords that's when a new offer comes in from someone who's vocal from someone who is um like like you not wanting to beat around the bush someone that says it like they like it like it is here's what i want from you tell me more about this king of swords Eight of Wands coming in quick with um, potentially a lot of money, but also with the intention to possibly have a long-term commitment with you, 10 plus years with that Ten of Pentacles, um, communicating quickly, okay? They communicate quickly with bridled passion, okay? Not unbridled, bridled. They're cautious about what they say too soon when it comes to like sexy talk, let's just say that. Okay, so there is a sense of playfulness to this person, but they're keeping a lid on it. They're keeping it in check, right? This is this is them coming through, the Ace of Cups. Then they show up as the King of Swords, and then they show up with the Eight of Wands, right? So they have a nice balance here of, look, I have affection for you, and I'm going to make it known, but I'm also not going to rush into saying I love you straight away. I will keep the communication going. And I will be very clear with my communication because it stems from this. But I'm not a fool. That's the energy that I'm, I'm getting from the, this person. I'm not a fool because I don't want to muck this up. I have intentions of, you know, marriage or family, long term. And possibly if this person is coming from a wealthy background um, or they do well for themselves, then there's an essence of wanting to protect that by, you know, not acting a fool. And they don't want to act a fool around you because you're showing up as the empress who's doing all this work um, and who's setting the scales right for a higher love to come through. When you feel good, when you feel independent, when you feel successful, when you feel happy in your own presence, when you feel like you can take yourself out on a date and self-love and make healthier choices, when you make the effort towards you, others will make the effort towards you. Tried and true. It happens all the time. Three of Cups is a celebration. Okay, You may meet at a wedding, a party, an engagement. You may be out socializing when you meet this person because that's part of your experiment with this playfulness. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? Oh, split the deck. It caught my eye. I had to. Okay, that's your marriage. That's your commitment. That's moving in energy. Okay. So this person has intentions for that. Whether that happens, you know, in the month of July. I mean, that would be kind of foolish and fast, right? But love is love. Time is fluid. I do see this going outside the bounds of July, of course. You have the divine counterpart here, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. And interesting that I wanted to immediately put that over the Empress. I feel like there is a part of you where you're like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to just, you know, be a little bit tight-lipped about some things as well because I've got my own. I've got my own. I'm good on my own. So you're really re reflecting. You're actually kind of on the same page with this person very nicely. I feel, <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra nearly closed completely up. So I express my truth and I express myself honestly is something you need to remember. And we're talking about the Queen of Swords and she's an expressive queen. She's an excellent communicator. I'm like almost like having bubbles. <clears throat> wow. I was going to say she's facing the king. So she is open. And I say she just because of the energy. Um, she's open to him, but she's taking her cues from him. She She's keeping her sovereignty. I hope you understand what I mean by that. 
she's staying in her power because she's the queen of all queens, but she's just not letting him know that. She's not letting all sides of herself be seen just yet. Okay, you can only see one side of that queen of swords. She is facing him, but she will open when he opens and when she feels like it's safe to do so. Okay, very healthy adult energy. Okay, very healthy energy. The devil. Okay, this could be a attachment where you could see yourself getting quite enamored with this person um, and maybe even needing to tame that adult energy. Because I was saying adult in a mature way, but then I looked at that healthy choices card and I actually felt adult in an intimate way. So it's interesting that that devil energy just came up. Okay, that's why you're taking cues because you're like, if this, if this king slips up and does this, uh-uh, we're not having it. I've worked too hard on myself to ever revisit something like that. Wow. Anything else that Capricorn needs to know about love in July? Knight of Wands. There's a lot of passion. It's nice. Charming. Very good looking. Very intelligent. Four of Wands and someone who says pretty much straight away, hey, I am looking for a wife. I am looking for a husband. I am looking for long term. Let's see how this goes. This is kind of a warning at the bottom of the deck. I was about to put it down on its face. I'm going to keep it upright. It's kind of a warning to say, let's not get too carried away with investing our energy in this. It's very much feeling like this Queen of Swords where she's like, mm, I'll write back when I'm ready, when I'm literally ready. Not because you're playing games with that. Right? When I'm talking about gamifying your own self-love, I don't mean play games with other people. I mean make it fun for you, but also you're keeping your energy safe. Okay? You're not stopping in the middle of a conversation with a dear friend or your mum to message someone. You're like, I will get to you. Okay? Patience. I love that. Very, very healthy. Okay. What else is at play? No. Why? Why the no? Yeah, I. it's okay. It's that ability to say no when you, you know, you're not getting caught up in um, fairy tales. You're really coming at this. As much as you're gamifying love, you're actually going, just because someone says they want to get married, just because someone says all the right things, Knight of Wands, Yes, you can be extremely charming. Yes, you can tell me you want a, a, a partner, but it doesn't mean that's going to be me. Let's prove it. Let's find out, right? And I feel like this is mirrored energy, okay? Did we get mirror on the bottom of that deck? Where is it? No, not enough. Okay, it's that old energy of trying to not feel like I'm not enough, okay? So you're going, no, no, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not enough. I'm going to keep my standards high. And if this person behaves in a way that makes me feel sadness, sorrow, loss, pain, um, then I'm able to say no. I'm able to. I'm not getting carried away in make-believe. Don't stop believing in love. Don't stop playing the game, right, of seeking and manifesting and growing because it's like you go within again and you 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 adjust you adjust your sails you get back out on the on the the yacht you know you get back out on the water that's really cool i'm really proud of you what would this person say what would this person say what would the king of swords say i want to be more than friends very clearly i think he's going to be very um I mean, he's coming up here, and I say he, Ace of Cups, so he has emotion, he has passion, he has intellect, and he's coming forward quickly. He's saying all of this quickly, right? With intentions of long-term growth. So he's a bit of a, a, ma a master of all. So I can see why you're saying, look, don't get too carried away just because it seems too good to be true. We got carried away last time. What we're going to do, right? Beautiful. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, look, in the past, perhaps they did. And that's probably why they're mirroring your energy um, at this present time and coming into communion with you in some way, relationship, situationship with you. 
that they possibly did the same thing, where they overgave, they made unhealthy choices, they had maybe conditional love in the past. I bury myself in work to forget you, just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, I think this person is very impressed by you, impressed by the Empress. And I do think this person is quite wealthy. I do think they work hard. I do think it's it takes a special kind of someone for them to be drawn away from their work. So I do think they're saying like, oh, I feel it too. Don't worry. I feel it too. But I'm also coming from a place of logic. Okay. So that's really cool that you're, you're very much mirroring each other here. What is the self-love message here for Capricorn in the month of July? Drink tea and read. Yeah, I do feel like you might you might be researching love, whether it's reading physical books or audio books or podcasts. You're getting more information. You could even be reading like um, some saucy literature. Don't know why that just came up, but maybe it's like an outlet for you in like to play the game, right? A sense of recapturing romance. So that you don't exp need to express it in ways that lead you down a garden path of fantasy, okay? You'd rather your fantasy be bound to a book rather than causing you physical pain again. Wow, interesting message. Drink tea, okay? Cleanse that palate, making healthy choices. This could be talking about not drinking too much in terms of, you know, that extra glass of wine at night. It could be like, all right, I'm going to like detoxify drink some tea it also talks about taking a quiet moment and it feels like a grateful tea you know you have your cup of tea and you bless your tea and you say what you're grateful for that for the day and you're grateful for the energy that is pouring into you little ritual there for you final love message here for capricorn in the month of july final love message for capricorn Final love message here for Capricorn. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm taking the one that fell in my lap and I'll get the rest later. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I also feel you must let go of fantasy, okay? And that's possibly why you're keeping your fantasy bound to just, you know, what you consume, I talked about what you consume in, in all the ways as well. Okay, so you know your emotions can get carried away. You know your emotions can um, overgive is the sense that I'm get, getting here and distort your perception. Ten of Swords, you've been there, done that, not doing that again. That's the warning that came up, right? But here's the Queen of Swords. In order to see things clearly, I use some logic because that's what's healthy, that's what's needed. I, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing this game of love and stop believing that I'm ever going to find the right one. You never know. This King of Swords could be it. He's looking pretty good. So enjoy this energy, Capricorn. Please let me know in the comments below how it resonates. Take really good care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one.